Russian leader Vladimir Putin has warned Britain and the US that they will go to war with Russia if they allow Ukraine to use long-range missiles to strike targets in his country. According to The Times, British Prime Minister Keir Starmer and US President Joe Biden discuss regarding allowing Ukraine to fire storm shadow missiles at Russia. Putin, meanwhile, stressed on Russian state television that the move would significantly change the very nature of the conflict, forcing Moscow to respond. This would mean that NATO countries are in a state of war with Russia. We will make appropriate decisions based on the threats we face, he said. At the same time, Starmer resolutely rejected Putin's accusations, calling Ukraine's right to self-defense. Russia started this conflict. Russia illegally invaded Ukraine. Russia can end this conflict immediately. Ukraine has a right to self-defense and obviously, we have been absolutely supportive of Ukraine's right to self-defense by providing training opportunities. But we do not want any conflict with Russia that is not even our intention. But they started this conflict and Ukraine has a right to self-defense. He explained the position of the Allies. While the U.S. may give the green light for Storm Shadow and its French equivalent scalp, this may not include the U.S. ATACMS ballistic missiles amid concerns about Putin's possible reaction. The British hope that authorizing strikes will give Zelensky an edge in bringing Putin to the negotiating table. That and the possibility of Ukraine agreeing to peace in exchange for some territory are likely to be among the topics of discussion at the White House. One Ukrainian military source criticized the idea of these ongoing discussions and the prospect of Biden allowing only certain long-range weapons to be used in Russia. I think this war cannot be won or stopped with half measures. Every day costs us several human lives and destruction and we always beg for obvious things that are necessary for our survival. It is unfair to buy time with human lives, the source said indignantly. There are good reasons to believe that the US and UK are ready to lift restrictions on Ukraine's use of long-range missiles against targets in Russia within a few days. In particular, we are talking about Storm Shadow missiles. The BBC described the impact these missiles could have on the course of the war. Hurricane Francine slammed into the Louisiana coast Wednesday evening as a dangerous Category 2 storm that knocked out electricity to roughly 190,000 customers and threatened widespread flooding as it sent a potentially deadly storm surge rushing inland along the Gulf Coast. Francine crashed ashore in Terrebonne Parish, about 30 miles southwest of Morgan City, the National Hurricane Center announced at 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Packing maximum sustained winds a near 100 miles per hour, the hurricane then battered a fragile coastal region that hasn't fully recovered from a series of devastating hurricanes in 2020 and 2021. Morgan City Fire Chief Alvin Cockerham said the hurricane quickly flooded streets, snapped power lines and sent tree limbs crashing down. Power outages in Louisiana topped 190,000 hours after landfall, spread widely across southeast Louisiana. Blackouts affected the majority of homes and businesses in coastal parishes nearest where the storm came inland as well as their inland neighbors, according to the tracking site poweroutage.us. The National Hurricane Center urged residents to stay sheltered overnight as the hurricane churned inland. The storm's projected path included New Orleans, where forecasters said the storms I could pass through. The sixth named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, Francine drew fuel from exceedingly warm Gulf of Mexico waters, strengthening to a Category 2 storm with winds exceeding 96 miles per hour hours before landfall. Still dangerous, the hurricane began weakening as it rushed inland, dropping in less than two hours back to a Category 1 storm with top winds of 85 miles per hour. Francine continued moving northeast at a fast clip of 17 miles per hour on a path toward New Orleans, about 55 miles away. It was forecast to weaken further while pushing northward through Mississippi on Thursday, with widespread rains in the coming days bringing potential flash flooding to cities including Jackson, Mississippi, Birmingham, Alabama, Memphis, Tennessee, and Atlanta. It also raised the threat of spin-off tornadoes. Much of Louisiana and Mississippi could get 4 to 8 inches of rain, with the possibility of 12 inches in some spots, said Brad Reinhardt, a senior hurricane specialist at the Hurricane Center. Louisiana Governor Jeff Landry said the National Guard would fan out to parishes impacted by Francine. They have food, water, nearly 400 high-water vehicles, about 100 boats and 50 helicopters to respond to the storm, including for possible search and rescue operations. 
Since the mid-19th century, some 57 hurricanes have tracked over or made landfall in Louisiana, according to the Weather Channel. Among them are some of the strongest, costliest and deadliest storms in U.S. history. Morgan City, home to around 11,500 people, sits on the banks of the Atchafalaya River in South Louisiana and is surrounded by lakes and marsh.